All right, so our application is Insights by SalesPad. And what we set out to build over the last 36 hours was a, uh, let's see, business intelligence feed. And so the basic idea behind this is we wanted to answer the question of how do you know when something's happening in your business and what do you do about it? So how do you know if there's customers who need to pay you within two days? And what do you do about it? Well, you contact them. So how do you know that you have customers that are buying things on trends? How do you know if it's a weekly trend? How do you know if it's a monthly trend? And then what do you do about that? So what we did is we built an application that integrates with uh, QBO by pulling in all of the sales data, all of the customer data, and your employees, and then linking up with Google and, as I mentioned before, QBO, and kind of building some of that data together. So once we're logged in, so as you can see, it's kind of a, kind of a two-part app. So on the left side, you have kind of a general feed that's getting refreshed, and on the right side, you have kind of a blown out uh, card that kind of explains what that is associated with. So the ones that we have up there right now are saying, hey, you, you, know, you have something that's within net 30, it's probably due in two days. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see some of the stuff that we pulled out of Google that says, oh, we had a customer email in, or in and say, hey, we have some really bad pocket protectors here. So we're going to kind of scrape that and see that it says bad and say, oh, well, you know, maybe we want a, you know, some organizational views on that. And if we go even further down, we'll start to see some other information, uh, some of the more you know intricate components of this, like margin, you know, being able to say, oh, we have really good margin, or oh, we have really bad margin, and some of the documents that are going out of our system. Just kind of giving, you know, your op you know your uh, business managers, your owners, the ability to go in, check it out. So one of the goals that we wanted to accomplish here was make an application that was very simple and very useful. And so one of the things that we heard from a lot of accountants was that it was very difficult to set up applications. So as you saw when we first logged in, uh, once you hook up to QBO, which is kind of a one click, you can pull on that employee list, you come into here and you say, oh, well maybe I wanna only evaluate things with a 15% margin. And so what we did is we built out this really simple settings that is just sliders and check boxes. And it gives you the ability to say, okay, I care about you know, 10% or lower margin, oh, I really wanna know 30% or higher margin so I can start to communicate with my reps and say, oh, that's a really good sale, you know, maybe we should talk to the customer, reach out to them. The idea being that you can make both reactive and proactive steps for your business. Thank you. Okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, you're pulling QBO data and email data Yes. So that you can manage profit margin dashboards as well as any problems or response times through email? So, or yeah, so the email? basic interaction that we have built onto the application right now is sending that email back through Gmail. Um, at, at the time we were building this, we were playing around with the idea of, you know, sort of calendar things or maybe even some automation where we can start to infer what the business owner wants to actually do when they see that sort of thing pop up. But yes, it's very much so here is the situation going on. Do you want to you know, contact the customer directly? Do you want to contact your employee? Kind of down that line. Okay. Yeah, how do you want the customer to think about the problem you're solving for them? Because there's a fine balance between just creating data porn, right? And sure. so putting too much burden on the customer in terms of figuring out how to get value out of it, like setting all those dials and filters. So what's the specific problem you think you help address kind of best? So the, the problem that we're trying to address as quickly as possible is that kind of, you know, it, you know the, the most you know, optimum is being, uh, you know, proactive about handling different situations that start occurring. So if you're getting a customer that's buying a sales trend, you're wanting to, you know, reach out to them and try to establish either a contract or, you know, contact them and try to get them to keep going on that sales trend, kind of like you see something's happening in your company, you're configured to, you know, watch it pop up monthly, you want to keep on going with that. So the problem that we're trying to solve is kind of that lost sales. We want to actually, you know, watch and grab that. You could say the same things about, you know, some of the scraping that we were doing on emails, you know, they're having a bad conversation with the sales rep. Well, with this application, you, you can jump into that at an organizational level and say, oh, like, let's jump in there. Let's actually, you know, involve some of the higher ups that are watching what's going on in their business, actually see and deal with that. So, 
Oh. Real quick, so guys, you, you're obviously really smart, but the fact that you had two questions there asking what you actually did indicates that you need to spend a little bit of time actually working out what it is you do. Because you've, you've probably built something really, really cool, but no one can actually understand what it is. So it's all about the message and all about articulating your value prop. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you.